Hey, you guys remember a few years ago when I, Fofi, bad at video games, decided to blindly dive headfirst into the RPG Genshin Impact? That was fun, right? Just plopping myself right into the middle of a vast fantasy RPG world for the first time and just seeing what kind of chaos I could cause. Well, we're doing it again, because the makers of Genshin Impact, Hoyoverse, have brought out a brand new RPG for me to smash my head against. <clears throat> so today, we're checking out Honkai Star Rail, who is also the sponsor for today's video. Thank you, Honkai Star Rail. As I said, this is a new game from Hoyoverse and the latest title in the Honkai series, which actually stretches back over a decade. We're talking an all new strategy RPG with turn-based battles, tons of exploration and puzzle solving, and a super cool futuristic sci-fi setting. And of course, it wouldn't be an RPG without a large cast of characters and some absolutely beautiful worlds to explore. All on board the space train, or the star rail, but I like Space Train. The game is absolutely free to play, supports cross-platform play across mobile and PC, and most importantly, is out now. So if anything you see in today's video seems cool to you, do not hesitate to try the game out for yourself. Because that's not all. With the game's latest update, Hoyoverse has added a new character into the mix, Jing Yuan. He's a high-ranking general with a laid-back vibe, but his area of effect multi-target attacks can absolutely dominate in battle. I don't know, I just love a character who's chill until they gotta fight and then they just unleash the fury. So if you wanna check him out or any of the wide cast of characters available, please be sure to head down to the top link in this video's description to download Download Honkai Star Rail now. And be sure to use my promo code, and pay attention because this is a doozy, HSRVER10JYTGHC to get a reward of 50 stellar jades. That is HSRVER10JYTGHC. <sighs> Major thanks to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring today's video, and now let's see what's going on in this game. All right, and here we are in Honkai Star Rail. We have space, we have rock, and we have train. Space train, we have space train. We got a big old space needle. Classical music in the giant space needle. You're not playing anything. Why Why would you lie to yourself in such a way? This is a pretty wild start. We, we're immediately going into some kind of space robot invasion, and someone who was clearly very much in charge of protecting people is just like air violining. I mean, right from the outset, this looks and plays really well. I mean, this is just the starting area, but I'm already impressed. Oh, what's this? You look like I could kill you. Bam. <laughs> Ooh, cool little, uh, cool little warp effect going into the battle. Ooh, use ultimate to attack all enemies. All right, cool. Time to say bye. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. Ooh, am I, am I picking my character? Has this all been a cold open leading to me picking my character? Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll pick my character in a second. I, 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 I downed a soda before this. I gotta use the bathroom, we'll be right back. Don't do anything I wouldn't do while I'm gone. Why are you standing around? Having second thoughts. All right, stop yelling. I'm back. So we're picking our character. Activate receptacle Stell or activate receptacle Kalis. Not sure how that's pronounced, but I'm going with Kalis, and I'm also going with Kalis. Want to give him a new name? Ooh, I can enter a name. Of course, we got to go F O A F Y. Receptacle Fofi. <laughs> Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? Well, they're not moving. <laughs> Wait, stop it! They're awake. Are you all right? Can you hear me? I don't remember a thing. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? <laughs> I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Yeah, that's how it works. My name is Fofi. That's a stupid name. <laughs> so yeah, that's me. I'm a cool gray haired anime dude with amnesia and a super cool Stellaron in my body. What's a Stellaron? I don't know. And no one else seems to know either, but apparently it means I'm crazy powerful. And now I'm on a space station with a nerd named Don Hung and a girl named March 7th. Yes, actually, her name is March 7th. I'm sure there won't be any dark depressing backstory to that name that would make me feel bad for poking fun at it. The Express comes here every once in a while. Ooh, we're talking about the space train. Ooh, space train. March 7th is talking about the space train. This game's weird. <laughs> Each character has their own path. Fofi is a character that follows the path of destruction. Heck yeah, dang right. <laughs> Whap, <laughs> yes, I have a baseball bat. I love the idea that in this super futuristic sci-fi world with space trains and stuff, I have a baseball bat as a weapon. <laughs> Perda's collection, 
I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. You, you clearly do not understand the collector mindset. You, do you realize how many trading cards and toys and other random useless junk I have sitting around collecting dust that if I ever were to get rid of, I would be distressingly upset? Vandalism, <laughs> path of destruction. <laughs> oh, that's a villain. I thought it was a cool thing. Turns out it's a mean thing. Use physical attacks to inflict weakness freak, causing enemies to bleed. Yes, bleed. <laughs> so like I said, this is a turn-based RPG, which means instead of just running around and hacking and slashing, I gotta take my time and strategize my next moves. And as the game goes on, I meet new characters who can join my team in battle. At which point I can start choosing my favorite friends and switching them out based on how useful they are to me. I'm a terrible person. The current team is me, Don Hong, and March 7th, but soon we're joined by this red-haired girl named Himiko. And the further into the game you go, the more characters you can unlock and add to your team. Like the new character I mentioned before. So the deeper into the game you go, the more interesting and varied the battles can get. So you'll be able to customize your team lineup based on what works best for you or what works best for that particular battle. And speaking of, the battles can get pretty tense. As I kept exploring the space station, I got into this one fight, I very quickly realized I was not prepared for. Yeah, see that thing that said recommended team level number 11? Uh, I think I'm like level seven <laughs> at like the most. I did my best, but remember how I am Fofi, bad at video games? Yeah. But despite my incompetence, I am really digging these battles, even if my friends keep dying a lot. But it's okay, because after bailing on that fight, I then got confronted by the game's first real boss battle, the Doomsday Beast. And I might not be able to beat an alien centaur robot multiple levels higher than me, but a giant Doomsday Dragon thing? Easy. See, look, I did so well I exploded. No! I didn't know I could do that. I could have been real useful this whole time. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> What, what just, ha what is happening? <laughs> You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. You didn't tell me you could explode. I've only been gone, what, a few months? She got robot That's legs? That person got robot things. legs? This is the true master of the space station. Genius society number 83, Herda. Okay, so this is the Herda everyone's been talking about. They got like robot, they're like a robot. They got robo limbs. What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. That's not normal. That's just not normal. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. It's not like I got anywhere else to go. You also have another option. The Astral Express. Space train. If you want, you can leave with us. Space train. Space train. I've been given the choice between staying here and letting Herda experiment on me or going on the space train and having fun. And I think, I think I already have made up my mind on which one I want to do. I think I would rather go on the space train. I've been promised space train this whole time. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And oh, trash can. A pair of trash cans with an unusual sorting method. Whether or not the trash is digestible by knobless worms. What? <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave by that bag, just gonna leave that, go to Herta's office. <laughs> I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. Y yeah, what's this got to do with me? Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. That machine contains a universe. I call it the metaverse. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no, 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 no. Seriously, don't ride that hype train? <laughs> oh my god. Now go and experience it for yourself. Whoa, ooh, I'm live streaming. Streaming. <laughs> Not 100% sure what's going on here yet. I think this might just be a bit of a battle gauntlet, but we got a boss fight coming up right here. Another one of these strategy. horse people. Bam. He said we need a strategy beforehand, which means we might we might eat it this time. <laughs> we might not do well. So for this boss battle, I've actually put the game on auto fight to see if it's actually even possible to beat a boss like this, or if I've just been extremely, extremely bad at the game so far. And so far it looks like, yes, maybe I was just extremely bad at the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, looks like it. Last time I had to fight something like that, I ate it twice in a row and just absolutely could not win. But putting the game on auto fight, it looks like it was just me. It looks like it was just me. <laughs> you see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments. Oh dear. And their fractal features, ooh, that's a good description, are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Poetic. You see Kafka. Her body is stretched, deformed, and rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand, turning her into water droplets and falling at your feet. What? <laughs> you find yourself become a weeping adlivan baby with an uncut umbilical cord.
Horde, you remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. Wait, let's talk about Kafka, or they have controlled my brain! Cut out his brain! <laughs> what is happening? Come on, Fofi, I want to upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. What is happening? You said you wouldn't interfere anymore. This took a turn. It feels like a hook pulled you at your belly button and your entire body tumbled in a circle. When your eyes open, you're already back in Herta's office. Wow, that was a trip, dude. That was a trip. This has been weird and traumatic, so I'm going to leave. I'll go on the train. Then come with me. Train time, space train. And now we're on the space train, baby. You know, the star rail from the title. <laughs> I'm chilling in kind of the main area. March is off running around doing God knows what. <laughs> and Don Hong's like, I live in the library. But once Pom Pom, the conductor, yes, calls for a big warp jump coming up, we all strap in on the couch with no seatbelts and do an insane space jump all the way to this crazy frozen planet. At which point we realize we can't move any further because of some form of Stellaron interference. Wait, is that me? Am I the problem? Well, apparently not. It's some kind of other Stellaron interference. Ooh, intrigue. So me, March, and Don Hong gotta hop down to the big snowball and figure out what's going on. There really is one big snowball. It really is one big snowball. <laughs> you just repeat the same thing she said back at her. <laughs> like, that's not the weirdest thing to do. And here we are on the first of our new planets. I think this is the first time we've actually been on a planet and not in space, like on a space station. All right, so we're on this freezy cold ice planet that apparently was not always a freezy cold ice planet, but I can already see an enemy up ahead that I think we're gonna... Ooh, wow. Yes! <laughs> it's always fun to get the advantage on him. What's all this? An abandoned log cabin of some sort over here. Are you Are you an enemy? Or are you just a sculpture? Well, you're not attacking me and I can't attack you, so I'm gonna take it that you're not an enemy. Look at all these. Are these like frozen over enemies or are these just sculptures? If these are people, then this is dark. Looks like they were trying to escape. This, that, that right there especially does not bode well for whatever these guys were going up to. Nothing takes down an ice bird monster quite like just hitting it with a baseball bat. All right, let's see what else is going on here on the frozen plains. Lump, let me see the lump. Hey, get out of there or you'll shoot. To death. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Youch! Youch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. I think I hate this guy. I think I hate him. The name's Sam Fokoski. I'm Fofi. Hi, me. Sam why don't we join forces? This guy has come in with the absolute wrong energy. Oh my god. <laughs> the only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Can you like just, just take it down like a notch? Just like like we're cold, it's dangerous. You just you just gotta take it take the whole thing, all of you, just take it all down a tick. <laughs> Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. All right, so we're tagging along with Funny Man over here. See where this guy takes us. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them! Ooh, do we get to kill people this time? Ooh, time to kill people. <laughs> Not my bunnies. Hello. Ooh, fight again? Ooh, is this like a boss fight? Oh, cool, boss fight. Oh, no. This ends here! Uh-oh. That killed one of us. Oh, wait. Aw, oh, man. I was gonna kill him. I was gonna kill you. So after definitely nearly winning that battle and defeating this random dude with the giant whatever that is, the fight gets called off. That annoying dude in the blue just friggin' skedaddled. And with all the tension having died down, these guys take us to Bellabog. Basically the only place on this entire planet where life can still survive. And with that, I think it's time to wrap up for today. But what happens next? Well, I guess you'll just have to download Honkai Star Rail and see for yourself. The link is right down in the description. The game is free to play. And remember, if you use my promo code, <gasps> H-S-R-V-E-R-1-0-J-Y-T-G-H-C, <laughs> you can get a bonus of 50 stellar jades. So check out the game, check out the new characters in the update. Major thanks to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring, and I'll see you guys soon for a pretty huge new video. But until then, I'm on my way. You can count on me. I'm almost there. <laughs>